Hello. In today's video, we will obtain information about the treatment of thyroid nodules, meaning that in cases of GAD AIT in the thyroid gland, it is non-cancerous, yet in maximum cases, surgery is recommended for its treatment. However, we will discuss a comprehensive non-surgical treatment in which this nodule can be treated using minimally invasive techniques, resulting in no side effects and the fastest possible recovery. So, assistant, please bring my tools. Why not show our audience a live demonstration of how it is done? Oh, what have you brought again? I am not a surgeon. We are talking about not needing all these tools. Please bring my tool. It is getting very fast. This is a thyroid nodule ablation antenna, a small needle with a special connection that can be connected to a generator via a copper cable to create a microwave machine, a radio frequency machine. It is used for treating thyroid nodules by delivering targeted energy to destroy the abnormal tissue. Now I will demonstrate to you on a small dummy how we can perform this entire treatment in a simple way when I do it on the neck. Of course, in real life, we would do this under sonography or ultrasound guidance. Now for demonstration purposes, I will show you a line where I have connected a water system. Cold saline is being delivered through this antenna so that only the active tip of the antenna generates heat in a dehydrated manner, ensuring that no heat reaches the entire antenna or handle, thus protecting all your organs, including the normal thyroid, parathyroid and muscle. And of course my hand is also protected. The heat is very titrated and produced in a focal manner, closing the guard without any extra cross within a one meter margin. Additionally, I have connected this entire needle to a generator via this copper cable, which will send microwave energy into this needle, converting it into heat energy, and the nodule will be created from the heat. I inserted this nodule in the neck without any blade, like your FNA or FNA done by your doctor. Once it gets inserted by your needle and seen on sonography, it shows me that the nodule has been exactly reached inside. I possess a foot pedal that enables me to initiate this in a compact manner. Presently, I am about to commence that process and the auditory perception you are experiencing is generated by the existing flow or the sound produced as the nodule gradually comes to a close. I will continue to change the position of my antenna while looking at the ultrasound so that I cover every area of the nodule. Once the lower part of the nodule is gone, I will move to the upper part. This way, when I can see in the sonography that the nodule is completely covered and no structure like margin or additional has been damaged, I can comfortably remove the antenna without any bleeding or cosmetic care. Sister will provide compression for 10 minutes and our case will be finished. The nodule has completely disappeared. Of course, once the operation is over, you won't feel any change. But now the nodule is completely dead tissue without any blood supply and no single live cell. Over time, it will shrink with almost 50 to 70% shrinkage in three to six months and nearly 90% in nine months to a year. Traditionally, the treatment for nodules was only surgery, removing 50 to 60% with connecting rods or stems, but there are some sequels. First, after the operation, a cosmetic scar may appear. Second, hospitalization for some extent in the ICU may be required. General anesthesia may be necessary. The third problem is that today, even thyroid medication or calcium medication may be needed because a major part of the thyroid has been removed along with the parathyroid glands that regulate calcium metabolism. The fourth problem was the risk of voice hoarseness in some cases, leading to damage to the vocal cords which can occur during surgery, causing this problem to arise. And lastly, the most important thing in today's world is to take a long break from your regular lifestyle after which you can resume your work, ranging between 7 to 10 days and sometimes small. This new ablation technique is the solution to all these problems. First, it is minimally invasive, with no use of a blade, no cosmetic operation. The next day after the operation, you won't even see where the procedure was done, just like after an FNA, you won't see anything. The third major advantage is no risk of damage to the vocal cords, so there is no change in speaking, and there is no risk to the patient's voice. Because there is no surgery involved, there is no risk of any additional structure damage. The fourth major advantage is that in 99% of cases, after ablation, the patient does not need to take any medication, neither do we need to go near the parathyroid gland, 
and in the thyroid, we are only destroying the nodule. We are not doing any hemithyroidectomy or destroying normal tissue, so the patient does not experience hypothyroidism or calcium problems. And lastly, the most major advantage is that you can resume your work life from the next day. You don't need to take any leave from the office. It's not a miraculous operation, no side effects, almost 99 to 100% deficiency MS surgery, but if it is so effective and has no side effects, then it definitely must be expensive, but it's not like that. Acquaintances, indeed, this technology is quite expensive. The rental cost of these high-quality generators is significantly high. Not very costly, but because no anesthesia is given and hospitalization is ICU stenirally zero, less than one day, so in many ways there is heavy cost saving and eventually the cost of the treatment becomes lower than that of surgery as well. So, is it just a rumor or hoax that such an effective treatment with minimal or no complications is cosmetically acceptable at the same or lower cost? There is absolutely no fraud. Now I will speak with you regarding how you can ensure that this treatment is authentic and you can make a selection. The first and most important thing is that grade one medical literature has arrived in which scientific evidence of maximum quality has been provided, proven by randomized control trials and meta-analysis to show that this surgery is as effective. The side effects or complications are extremely minimal or equal to none and in terms of appearance it has a significantly better profile in the rest of the lifestyle reformation. I will distribute the links to all of these peer-reviewed articles in the description and comments. You can access all of them on PubMed Central standard index sites where they are available. There are numerous anecdotes reports, patient testimonials and patient welfare or help groups where patients have shared their experiences and provided valuable insights. I will share links to many Facebook groups and YouTube channels. Patients have shared their own experiences in this. In the last personal experience, we have found S treatment to be so effective. Due to the awareness campaign, I myself have handled cases ranging from 50 to 100. As of today's date and November 2020, these case numbers are increasing. Every month we are conducting more and more cases. Some countries like Turkey perform 26,000 to 36,000 cases per year of this type of ablation, which has almost replaced surgery. So friends, this is not a treatment that is new. It is well established as level one data has been available for the past 20 to 30 years in millions of patients. And you will also visit my channel. So I will slowly share many testing miniature videos in which some I have already shared. You can access them through their links and end screen. You can also access it through the icon here. If you have a thyroid nodule and your endocrinologist or doctor confirms it's non-cancerous, you'll need to undergo surgery for it. Definitely, you should explore this non-surgical treatment from your nearby interventional radiologic medical radio frequency ablation or microwave. In ablation, I am very excited that for 95% of patients, the operation will be a valid alternative and you can treat your nodule without any surgery not an endoscopy or any minimally invasive procedure, single intervention, everything performed with only one needle, no need for a telescope, no need for a key, no need for a camera. While observing the nodule in sonography, it can be destroyed with a thin needle. Nodular disrepair will occur without complications or sequelae. 